Each day this week, we're introducing you to remarkable kids. And today we meet a kid who is passionate about pets. For as long as he can remember. Since I was born. Animals have been a huge part of Nick Moore's life. There's not been a day in my life we've never had a pet. For the past year and a half, he's volunteered at the Little Rock Animal Village. You have kittens who's been abandoned, dogs who've been abused or even just got lost, and they probably never seen love in their life. What is the experience when you come to the Little Rock Animal Village? What is it that draws you here? It's just a friendly atmosphere, knowing you're helping something out, knowing you're contributing in a way. And he has been contributing despite what others may have expected. When we first started here, they did not think we were going to do much, especially me. The expectations were low, he says, because Nick Moore is a recent graduate of the Arkansas School for the Blind. It's like looking into a, fog, a foggy glass. That's the best I can explain it. He says doctors don't know exactly what caused his vision problems. I was born with it, this is all I've, all I've ever seen. So to me, it's normal. But he has overcome them, thanks in part to World Services for the Blind. Nick is just one of those ones that kind of stood out in the crowd. WSB CEO Sharon Giovinazzo. He helps his peers whether they need help in the cafeteria line or navigating campus. He's just always willing to help somebody. Nick went from just cleaning the facility. I'm like, nah, I, I want more of a hands-on experience. To working with the animals four days a week, because as we found out. You know a lot about animals. Oh yes, yes I do. <laughs> That's why dogs and cats don't get along so well. Dogs tell rags it's happy, cats tell rag it's mad. While Nick still cleans up, he also checks on the animals. Making sure they're healthy, washing them, and sitting there relaxing with them. And works on the animals' social skills to help them get adopted. So this is Joey's Playhouse, huh? Yes, it is. So you get to come in here, look at the kittens, play with the kittens. They could have adult cats, sick cats, anything can come in here and play, exercise, and get a chance to actually enjoy being outside of a kennel. Oh, they love it. They get to climb, jump, play, play with each other, pounce on each other. Oh, it's, it's, it's fun. 10 years from now, where, where will you be? What will you be doing? Ten years from now, I see myself getting a bachelor's or at least master's degree in zoology and biology. I plan to start a exotic um, zoo for where I can have endangered species. And so, like, explain to the kids, the younger generation, on why these animals are important. He may be that next zoologist that changes the world. It brings a smile to your face. Knowing someone wants to offer them a home, it's a happy feeling. Nick is heading off to college next month, and if you'd like to check out any of the animals we just showed you, the Little Rock Animal Village is open for adoptions Tuesday through Saturday. Kennels open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And tomorrow, we introduce you to a remarkable kid who is winning both on and off the basketball court in Pine Bluff.